Be Zach Whitney, a notorious soda drinker with a fridge full of Coca-Cola. Keep all your cans in a big freezer in your basement, thinking it's the safest spot. One day, you get a call from your mom, asking if she can come over for dinner. Sure, why not, you think, happy to have family around. You go downstairs to grab some sodas from the freezer, when suddenly you hear a hissing sound. Oh, you think, this can't be good. The next thing you know, there's a loud explosion that rocks the entire house. You're knocked off your feet, dazed and confused. When you finally come to, you realize that the freezer had exploded, and there's coke everywhere. You can barely breathe, the air is thick with the smell of cola. You stumble upstairs, coughing and gagging, when you hear your mom scream. You rush to her, only to find that she's covered in the soda, barely breathing. You try to revive her, but it's too late, she's gone. You look around and see that your entire family is dead, killed by your own love of Coca-Cola. That's the cost of the fizzy drink trade, and it's a heavy one. Be me. In a chemistry test today. Going full focus on cheating for my best friend who is sitting on the bench front of me. Guy from the right row is cheating for me, I am unaware of it. In the middle of the test, I hadn't completed yet and the teacher calls me and the guy cheating for me. Blames me for showing him the test. Gives me a zero and writes cheating. Gives the guy cheating for me a two out of a five. For some reason, switches sides and says it was me who cheated from the guy who was cheating for me instead. My face when he wrote less than me, cheats from me, gets higher marks than me. Did that genuinely just not like my face and assumed I was cheating? This whole thing is unbelievable. Why teachers like to blame random innocent people for something they didn't do. Go to some kind of liminal space with few people there. Parking lot at night, middle of mostly empty store, public park, all at night to be honest. Start screaming for help, like real bloody murder type Works better if small female. When and if someone comes to help, keep screaming. Keep screaming until someone else comes to help you from the other person who is now trying to help you. Profit. Help, I just thought of this while on Discord and thought I should share. Be me. Browsing dark web chat rooms. Guy sends link. Neuron activation. Eyes witness the most god awful things ever. These people be selling one terabyte of minor involved for $300 and be releasing 200 video megafiles across the internet as teasers. Faith in humanity lost. I'm heading down to hell boys. Be me, six hours ago. Oddest. On phone with pizza guy because me and my wife can't be bothered making dinner. Tell him my order. Finish order. About to hang up. In car so go into talking to my wife mode. Accidentally say love you. Guy on other end says love you too. Hang up. Why am I be? Be me. Former neat. Parents forced me to get a job a few months ago. Been working at a media store that sells movies, games, CDs, comics, manga, etc. There is a Zoomer girl who I work with. She likes anime and manga and stuff. I don't watch much anime, but I've seen stuff here and there, I prefer video games. One day, she is reading some manga during downtime and I ask her about it. She lights up and starts going on and on about it. Apparently she doesn't have anybody she knows in real life that will talk to her about it. Whenever there is downtime at work, I'll listen to her talk about anime and stuff and she'll ask me about games I'm playing. We become friends and we start hanging out outside of work. I went to her house and we watched some card captors, which is a show I saw on TV as a kid, and is one of her favorites. She came to my house and I played a game while she read some manga, we were doing our own things while together and it was nice. Went to see the Mario movie together on Monday. Today she was acting a little strange at work, and at the end of the day, she pulled me aside and started asking me a bunch of questions. Why haven't you kissed me? Why haven't you touched me? Don't you like me? Apparently, I have been dating this girl for two months but I thought we were just brothers. 
This is the first girlfriend I've ever had B, so I need some advice. How do I break up with a girl? You have reached the end. Don't forget to like and subscribe to see more green texts like these.